Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today is the 23rd day of Vlogmas. So we're pretty much almost there to the finish line, uh, but not quite. We just have two more days left. But for today, I wanted to do the reflections tag. I saw Princess from Castle Library do it and I thought like, oh, this is a cool tag. So I wanted to participate. So if you want to know the answers to these questions, please stay tuned. I am back and if you're new to my channel welcome so like I said before I'll be doing the reflections tag and this tag was created by everything L um, which I will leave all her um, original content down below so you can check out her channel um, but I would like to say this pretty much this tag is for reflecting on my channel so I thought this would be a very neat thing you know talking about my channel also it sort of coincides with my reading goals and everything that I want to do and I want to accomplish for next year in 2021 so let's go ahead and get started with these questions so the first question it says, did you reach any bookish goals? So my bookish goal for this year was to read 40 books. I have currently read 37 books. I just have, um, I'm pretty much three books away from my goal for this year, uh, which I plan on doing so. Um, so I changed up my TBR a little bit. Uh, so of course I finished Ray Better, uh, Ray Bearer from, um, uh, by Jordan Fuego on audiobook. I'm currently reading, um, uh, right here, A Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Um, I also will be reading, um, let's see, A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. And then I'm also going to be listening to the audiobook by um, uh, Chimamanda Nguzi uh, Adichie. Um, she did her audiobook that just came out on on um, Amazon. It's called Sakura. So I'll be listening to that and that will make me, you know, pretty much accomplish my reading goals for this year. Now the second question is uh, shout out a bookish person or people you felt really support you were supported by. Um, so there's countless people that um, have supported me and my channel. Um, just to name a few, um, Tara from Reading with Tara, she has constantly been supporting my channel just on, she's been commenting and I just, I just know she's a supporter and Tara, thank you so much. So that's one supporter. Um, Miss Sabria G uh, GXO. She's also been a supporter of my channel. She's constantly commenting, which I love also interacting with, um, you know, my supporters and my subscribers. Uh, the next person who she's amazing in her channel is awesome. Um, that's Steph from um, Steph's Romance Book Talk. So please check out her channel as well. Um, also, we have Lala Loves Lit. She's also been a great supporter. And then we have this on verse and we have uh, Jess G who is my best friend and I consider my sister. So thank you so much, Jess. Thank you. And then the uh, last but not least, we have Lucy Reads. She's also been a great supporter of my channel. So those are just a few people that, um, that I can think of off the bat that has been very supportive of me and um, my channel, which like I'm so thankful for all of you for supporting my channel and just supporting me as a person. I think that's just really cool and how we can just lift each other up, especially during this um during this time and during this time of year where just a lot of loss and everything has been happening so thank you so much and i really do appreciate you the third question is uh what's been your favorite video you've uploaded um i really don't have a favorite i think maybe my favorite one is um re like the recent one that i really did was the my anticipated reads uh part one and two um so my anticipated reads of uh, 2021 for next year I did part one and I did part two so I think those are my favorite uh, my favorite videos that I recently uploaded just because um, I was able to go through all the books that were going to be coming out next year and I'm really excited and pumped for them to be released and uh, just to be part of these new worlds that are going to be coming out or a sequel of a book that's going to be coming out so I'm just all for that so I think those two videos were definitely my best videos so far I mean some people might think otherwise but just for me personally I just think those were my two best videos so yeah just personally that's how I feel the fourth question it says name a video that didn't do as well as you thought it would um I really can't think of a video that I didn't think, to be honest, let me just be very honest with you. I really do these videos because I really enjoy booktube. I enjoy uh, the community. 
So I really don't go off of views as much. Um, I don't stress about it. I try not to do that because I feel like I'm gonna just put pressure on myself, which I do not wanna do. Um, so I really don't look at the views like that as a negative. I used to look at it as a negative, like, oh my gosh, I didn't get these, these views. The analytics and the algorithms of YouTube is against me. And I just, I stopped thinking that way. And so I feel like, you know what? You know, if people wanna watch it, they're gonna watch it. There's nothing I can really do about it. Um, so yeah, so I really can't fully answer like name a video that didn't do as well because technically I feel like, like, you know, I'm doing my best and that's all that I can do. Um, and you know, it's just up to, it's just up to the, everyone that wants to watch it to watch it. I'm not gonna stress about numbers. I, I'm, I'm done with that because I'll just never understand the algorithms of YouTube anyway. It just really seems off to me anyway. So yeah, so can't really answer this question because I really don't care that much <laughs> about analytically. I really don't care about what was the worst video that has that I've done because I feel like, you know, as time goes on, people do watch my videos. It just, you know, there's so many videos that are being posted each and every day, each and every hour. So I really can't really go off and say what's my worst, my worst video that I've uploaded and that I've done. Question number five, it says, what did you really struggle with on your channel? Um, I don't think I struggled. I just think for me was just the organization. Um, because like I'll have TBRs, um, sometimes I would fulfill them. Sometimes I would change them up a bit, which I'm known to change up my TBRs from uh, my, yep, yeah, this is my TBR for this month. And then, oh, this is my wrap up and they're completely different books. So I feel like I really want to be more consistent with what books that I pick out. Um, but I, bec I have become a mood reader. So it really depends on my mood and what I really want to read uh, versus, oh, this just came out. I need to read this because this is what everyone's talking about. Now I have done that before where I, new releases have come out and I'm like, okay, I got to get this book so I can just you know, have a conversation with everyone, know what's going on about this book that everyone loves so much. Um, but I usually now that I now that I reflected on my purchases of buying books, I mostly purchase books that I find interesting or something that's compelling me to read it for myself. Um, there are some people that do influence me on getting some books, which I'm thankful for because a lot of the books that they have recommended have been really good thus far. Um, so <laughs> so yeah, I would say my organization as well as keeping up with my TBR was the struggle for my channel this year. Question number six, it says, what are some things you want to improve on? Once again, organization. And also that's why I'll be starting a bullet journal just to keep up like with all my reviews. Um, I just want to stay on top of things as far as my uploading. I really don't have a schedule of days when I upload my videos. I do want to do that um, so that my subscribers and my, and my supporters will know when I upload and that will be on a consistent basis. Um, so I think with that is really organization and just trying to find a schedule that works for me so I can upload things and stay on top of my game. And the last question, it says, what do you want your viewers to know? Um, so as you all know, I think you know already, I am a mother of three kids. I have a five-year-old, I have a two-year-old who's going to be turning three on the 27th of this month, and then I also have a four-month-old. Four so I, to be honest, like, I really don't know how I'm reading all these books. I really am amazed at myself. I know I, like, for my reading, I do read at night as my kids sleep, but then I regret it in the morning because, because... Because I also am pretty much my my daughter's teacher in the morning. Literally, I have to get her up by like 8.30 in order for her to be on time for her virtual learning for like, it's only like an hour and 45 minutes, which is nothing and ridiculous, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, so I really just be killing myself reading at night and I don't get any sleep. Plus a four month old who who's starting to sleep longer now throughout the night, but still wakes up to be, you know, to be fed. So I'm also a wife as well. So I'm trying to do better with my cooking and stuff like that, trying to get more recipes and everything, trying to get my confidence up. I mostly am a baker rather than cooking, you know, I like to bake rather than cook. Um, but I know my husband been giving out hints like, hey, can you cook this? Can you cook this? So yeah, so literally it's just me. I'm, I'm everywhere. And so literally it just amazes me on how, that I have, I find the time to read as much as what I've been doing and what I'm trying to, you know, do for my family, especially during this treacherous time. Um, but yeah, and 
I think that's pretty much I, I'm 27 years old my birthday is January the 15th the same day as uh, same birth or same day as um when Martin Luther King Jr. was born so yeah we share the same birthday um <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much all that I think y'all should know I can't think of anything else but and that's pretty much it <laughs> um but that is all the questions for this reflection tag i really hope you enjoyed it this was actually really fun uh, i really love these questions um but anyhow i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when i upload more videos in the future but thank you so much for watching you guys and please stay healthy and stay safe see ya